All right, we have Louisville here with head coach Jeff Walls. Uh, we'll have Olivia Cochran here joining shortly. If you have a question, please raise your hand and we'll get a mic over to you. Please introduce yourself with the media outlet you're representing. We also have a Zoom link available. If you have questions via Zoom, just reuse the raise hand function. Coach, who'd like to start out with the opening statement? Yeah, I just, you know, like that, that was a hard fought basketball game by, by both teams. I've got to commend Boston College. Uh, jo 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 Joanna does a remarkable job with, 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 with her ball club, gets them to play so hard. And we were very fortunate to come out with a win. Uh, we were very sloppy at the offensive end, very stagnant at times, didn't look to attack. Uh, when the opportunities were there, and then when we did, we did, we did, we just didn't make the right play. Uh, so something, hopefully, from film, we can continue to work on and get better. Um, you know, just really impressed with the way Olivia Cochran finished out the game there. I know she missed some free throws, um, but she came up with a huge steal for us, and we get the the basketball. Just the way she competed was 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 really impressive. Uh, Overall, we've got to play a lot better tomorrow if if we want any chance of, of moving on in this tournament. All right, questions? Hi, my name is Phoebe Winters. I write for Hokie Haven. Congratulations on the win today, Coach. Um, obviously, moving on to face Notre Dame, who you saw last Sunday. What takeaways are you taking from your previous matchup and also today's matchup, and how is that going to translate into your plays tomorrow? Well, I, I haven't even really thought about tomorrow's game. I'm going to go to the bar first and have a couple, <laughs> some, some Tito's and tonic and a few other things. And then hopefully it, it will make this game look a lot better when I watch it on film. Uh, blurry, po <laughs> po possibly. Uh, and then I'll start worrying about Notre Dame for, for tomorrow night because they are, you know, we have had two really good games with them. Um, you know, unfortunately, at their place, we played a really good first half, and then we were extremely poor in the second half. So we know it's going to be a, a heck of a ball game tomorrow. Question here. Debbie Stroman, WCHL. Olivia, your coach just noted your great play. Can you talk about towards the end of the fourth quarter when you just took over, you just knew that you were not going to lose? Can you talk about how you were feeling? Uh, my experience, um, knowing that we was up and we couldn't get a stop, I was just like, I just had to step up. Um, previous play, I, I let 32 just drive to the basket and then pick her up, and coach got on me and was like, you got to guard somebody. I need somebody to guard. So I was like, I'll guard. And um, it was my teammates and the coaching staff, they, they trusted me to do that. So I just, took it with, I just took it with confidence, and I just took over, I guess. So, yeah. Question here. Marissa says, Kerr Hoop stats, Olivia, obviously, you know, Dontavia is kind of the matchup and a lot of their offense runs through them. What was your focus on um, just kind of taking her out of the game and matching up with her? I didn't hear your question. Just the matchup with Dontavia Wagner, you, you kind of know BC's offense runs through them. and Oh, um, just um, being in help, um, knowing that she just wants to drive the ball um, and just knowing her role on her team, um, boxing her out because she, she can offensive rebound um, and she's a good driver. So just standing to help and, you know, talking to my teammates who's cutting and who's just watching, just watching and keeping my, I'm, my, I'm the eyes behind their head. So I was just watching everything and just, I had to lead and talk. So yeah, that's, that was the game plan for real. Any other questions? Coach, congratulations. Can you speak to Blending in your grad grad transfers with this team for this game. I'm sorry. What about the grad transfers? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, Cost can't play tomorrow. Uh, you, you, you talking about her? Or are you talking about my one ones that are currently playing? Because I've got to. Oh, I, I thought you were talking about Cost and Josie. I'd be thrilled to be at there. They're, they're my grad students. Um, no, I mean they. You know, it, it it's been a, it's been a big adjustment for Sid and Kiki and Nina uh, and, and Henny, when, when you're looking at the level of play every single possession. And that's where we're continuing to try to push and get them to understand the urgency you have to play with. It's not only physically is it, is it exhausting, it's mentally. And, you know, everybody talks about 
when a freshman comes in, sometimes a freshman hits the, the, the freshman wall. You know, the same thing can be said for these kids because it is a different level every single night. I mean, I've said it before in the press room. You know, when we went back and looked at Sid's four years at, at UMass, she had a great career, fantastic coach, did wonderful. I, we had down that she played three top 25 teams in her four years combined. And Kiki at JMU, who's been a great, great ball club, played five in four years. You know, now they're playing four in two weeks. So the mental side of it, not just the physical side, but the mental side of the preparation, the knowing the game plan, it, it's, it, it's a lot. And we've got to figure out a way to, to get through this tournament, see if we can't, you know, come out and compete tomorrow, advance after tomorrow, and then we've got to take some time off uh, and try to get them refreshed you know, mentally and physically before we start up the NCAA tournament. Do we have a question back here? Cody Wagner, 3304 Sports. Coach, in a game like this, how important is experience? Elite Eight last year, Final Four the prior season. How big is your team's experience in ball games like this? Well, I, I think when you look at it, I mean, Olivia obviously came up with huge plays there in the last two and a half minutes of the game. You know, Olivia, Nyla, Riss are really the only three we have on our team who have that experience. Uh, so we have a lot of new faces out here. We have eight new, eight new faces. Um, you know, and I think we're 24 and eight or 23, I'm not sure, 23 and eight, 24 and eight. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. I mean, I, I think we have had a heck of a year and, and we're not finished yet. But it's just trying to get our ball club to understand <laughs> the urgency of every single possession. And we'll go last question here to Dan Rubin via Zoom. Coach, you mentioned, <clears throat> excuse me, the, uh, just the struggles or, or the inconsistencies that you were having on offense. How much of that was, uh, <clears throat> was BC's defense also playing up and, and altering some of the things that you were trying to do? Yeah, you, you've got to give credit to, to BC for sure. Uh, they were, were very active, really did a nice job of keep, keeping the ball, trying to keep the ball on one side of the floor. Uh, and then our guards have got to attack. Our guards have got to look to attack and, and create. And it's not always creating shots for themselves. It's trying to create shots for each other. I thought Sid made a, a – or Kiki made a great drive late in the game and had a beautiful kick over to Jada for a wide-open three in front of our bench. It was a great shot. It just didn't go in. And then Sid drove in and had, had, had a great pass to Nyla for, for a bucket. We've got to get more of that. We've got to be able to get by someone and make another defender guard us. Because when, when you can't get by somebody off the bounce, it's really difficult to get into an offense. And that's the one thing that BC hurt us with. When, when they got biased and we had to help, and then they did a great job of making the extra pass, knocked down some big shots. So we're just going to con con continue to work, try and put our, our, our players in positions to be successful. Uh, that's our jobs as coaches, is try and make sure we know what their strengths are and highlight their strengths and do the best we can to make sure we don't let any, 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 anybody see our weaknesses. All right. Thanks. Appreciate y'all. Do you want this final book?